Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Urban Update. I'm Byron Barnett. On the show today, the City of Boston elections will occur this Tuesday, November 7th, and we'll discuss the choices you will have at the ballot box. Also, are student loan payments causing you stress? Well, we just might have a solution. That in just a bit. And we'll introduce you to a company that is not just trying to do good quality work for its customers, but also trying to promote growing trees and encouraging other businesses to do the same. More on that later. But up first, often when people think of homelessness, their first thought is not about the young children who are impacted by the experience, but in Massachusetts, the population of homeless children and families continues to grow. More than 13,000 families with children are experiencing homelessness, a 7% increase from last year. Horizons for Homeless Children is the only organization in the state that takes care of the children living in homeless shelters. Its mission is to improve the lives of the young homeless children in Massachusetts and help their families succeed via early education centers, family support services, and creating a safe place in spa safe space and shelters for children to play. Here to tell us more is Horizons for Homeless Children's President and CEO, Kate Baran. Kate, thanks for coming in and welcome to Urban Update. Thank you for having me. Well, let's just sort of begin with a little history of uh, Horizons for Homeless Children. Uh, how and when and why did it launch? This is a story I love to tell. Uh, Horizons was started in 1988 um, by a group of industrious young professionals who decided to really zero in on a problem facing children and they discovered that there were an increasing number of homeless children living in shelter. Shelters aren't designed for children, there's nothing there for children. So this group of people decided that they were going to find a way to give children in shelter what children should have access to, which is play. Now, talk to me about some of the, uh, the services that you provide uh, for children in the shelters. Well, we've remained very focused on the child, and what we do is three different things. So we operate early education programs inside the city of Boston that serve 300 children every day. We also have, um, while the children are enrolled with us, their parents are enrolled as well. Each parent has a social worker that they work with on setting goals and driving towards economic self-sufficiency. And then the last piece of what we do is what we started with, which is we have put child-friendly spaces in shelters across Massachusetts so that children have access to play, which is the work of children. And what, why is this so important to uh, have these services for children? Because you, 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 from zero to five years old, that's your the population yes. that you serve. Yes. Why is this, uh, why are these services so critical to these children? So zero to five is literally the time in which most of the brain's architecture is developed. So children experiencing trauma, that, that development can be altered by the trauma of, that they're going through. So what we feel our role is, is really to mitigate that trauma and to provide children with what they should have as children. Why is the number of homeless families continuing to grow in Massachusetts? You know, the, it's never been a harder time um, for people in poverty. We have uh, low wages. We have very high housing cost. Um, in addition to that, what we find in the family homelessness environment is many of the women and, and children that we're dealing with are fleeing domestic violence. There are also mental health issues. And then the final piece is addiction. Hmm. Now. Um, Talk to me about uh, about the typical profile of a family that you serve. You kind of touched on it yeah. there. And um, how and why do they become homeless? Most of the families that we're serving are women in their late 20s with young children. Um, they are often fleeing domestic violence. They tend to have an income of about $14,000. And um, what they need is someone to help them get back on their feet. Now you talked about uh, this population that you serve, zero to five, the children, and you, you were saying, I think, uh, before we were on the air, that uh, that's the the largest percentage yes. of homeless uh, of yes. homeless children. Is that yes. what you're saying, or what was that? You, yeah. you can explain it. The majority of children living in shelter are actually under the age of six, um, and that what what is represented in the shelter system is about 20 percent of the children that are actually homeless. So. Any year in Massachusetts at this point, we have 16,000 children under the age of six who are homeless. But they're living, moving from place to place. 
and living in a homeless shelter, losing your home, is something that's considered trauma for a child that age. Living, you know, living in a shelter is, people have lost and children have lost the very foundation of their existence, that safe place to go. Uh, what, how are you funded and uh, do you need, uh, how, well just how are you funded and yeah. you need supporters? Yeah. So 70% of, of our funding comes through private citizens, corporations, and foundations. Um, so we are always looking for people to donate, and you can easily go onto our website, horizonschildren.org, to do so. But we also are looking for people to volunteer. We send volunteers into shelters all over the state. They work in two-hour segments, and they play with children. There's no greater joy than playing with children. And it makes an enormous difference to the children. And the final thing people can do is become part of our advocacy effort. We have a bill in front of the legislature right now that would allow immediate access to vouchers for families, for children who are homeless, um, living in shelter. And that's critical. Okay, finally, how can someone uh, contact you uh, for your services? Do you, I mean, do you go into the shelters yes, and so, seek them out, or do they have to seek you out? Um, the m easiest way to get a, um, in touch with Horizons is if you're living in a shelter, is to go to your shelter advocate um, and ask to work with Horizons. Okay, and we'll leave it right there. Kate Brand, uh, President and CEO of Horizons for Homeless Children. Thank you for coming it's a pleasure. in. Thank okay, you. and uh, it's great what you're doing taking care of those young kids. Yes, we love the children. All right, thanks, Kate. Well, coming up next, the solution for paying back those stressful student loans. All the details coming up right here on Urban Update.